videos and today I'm gonna do some gadget girl stuff these everybody knows their little teeny food processors or choppers after Christmas you can get these for five bucks at Walmart after Christmas when they're ten dollars or seven dollars normally they'll go down to five I got this in at a thrift shop for $1.99. I've even been seeing the ones at Christmas go down to three if they have a lot left over. So obviously I have several of these. This one is for my garlic. One thing I love is garlic. I grow it, I buy it in bagfuls, I freeze it. These are dehydrated garlic chips. These are deep fried garlic chips. These are awesome. McDonald's used to have a sandwich in their signature series that was chicken or beef with chicken with um, garlic chips and other stuff, but the garlic chips is what I remembered and I started making these after that. They are awesome. This is all the little ends, the pieces, the skin. This is what garlic powder is made out of. Believe it or not, they just grind everything up. So I've got it in my chopper and we're going to chop some up right now. Oh. Pulsing it knocks the stuff from the bottom up instead of just twirling constantly. If you pulse, it'll throw things up that might be stuck. And I can smell it without the lid even off of it. Oh, I love garlic. Do you like garlic? This is awesome. It still needs chopped up some more because this has been used so much. The blades probably aren't that sharp. Another good thing would be a coffee grinder, which I have a coffee grinder. It's very good, but I use it for my coffee. So I have a, need to get some other choppers. I have two or three different um, bullets. The um, bullets that make blending drinks and smoothies and all that stuff. I have two different ones of those to use. So I'll be good on my choppers. Now this I'm really excited about. Um, I either paid 99 cents or a dollar for this. It's Mark 99, but at Goodwill certain days, the different colored tickets are half off. And when I go in, I deliberately go straight to the kitchen and houseware stuff and look for stuff with the ticket colored tickets. But I would have bought this if it was a half off or not. It is the cutest little mill. It's a um, salt and pepper mill. What I'm going to do is put in my Himalayan pink coarse ground salt and see if it can um, grind that up. I don't want to overfill it because um, I'm not even sure how good it is to begin with. So, we need something here. So, I guess I just push this button. It's grinding it. It's not moving. Ouch. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Mm-hmm. sure if it's oh it's grinding that's a lot of work it's cute very very cute but the rock salt might be too coarse for it because it is very coarse ground pink Himalayan salt so I'm not sure if it's gonna work with this or not take all but a tiny bit out and see if it's actually moving. Oh, it's already got stuff stuck down inside of it. There, now it's spinning and it's grinding. It's grinding, but I don't know if it'll grind very well. We'll put a teeny bit in there. Yeah, see, it's not moving. And this little inside piece is supposed to move, and it's not. So maybe it's not going to work with this. Mm 
maybe I'm doing it wrong. This thing moves around too. Let's see what that does. Now it's turning. Maybe, oh, okay. Now it's working. Maybe I had it on too small a grind. As you can tell, it's not good for you, but I love salt. Now that I've got it open to that, oh, it's working. Can you see? It turns and grinds as long as it's not stuck. Seems to get stuck very easily. I love the design. The design is very sleek, very cute, but I'm not sure if it's made for this big of coarse ground salt. So I'll pause this and I'll put some peppercorns in and we'll see if it'll grind up peppercorns. Okay, so I'm back and I went into the kitchen and I got a couple other things that we like to grind. Well, I didn't even bring what I meant to bring. So we like to grind up, we love this Montreal steak seasoning from the Great Grill Masters, Grill Mates from McCormick. But it's a little too coarse ground. So I'm gonna try putting that in here and see if that works better. I'll grind it right into the lid. Oh yeah, this is working real well. I think the salt's just too hard. Oh yes, this looks great. This is perfect for something like this. So we'll just reuse that. This here was something I found, I think, at Kroger's because it's Sam's Choice. This was sea salt that was infused with Mystique smoke. It was awesome. It was on clearance and I was never able to find it again. But my son was able to take the lid off. Oh, I just did it too. And put in his favorite seasoning. Let's see how this works full. Oh, this is just awesome. The rock salt was, sea salt was just too hard. It's doing great. Awesome. So we have all kinds of grinders. I keep grinders. I keep any kind of glass bottles, spice bottles, um, any kind of bottles that anybody has. They usually keep and give to me little olive bottles cute little bottles. Um, I have one that I like real well that is from um, Green Chilies, a little squat glass jar that had green chilies in it and jelly jars. There's a lot of cute little jelly jars. Even the maraschino cherry jars are really cute. So the only other gadget I have right now is really awesome. I don't know if anybody has ever seen these. It is an automatic peeler. It takes batteries. It's got the two little things. You push a button and it's awesome. You can let the button go. It keeps going. So watch this. Turn it on. That's how easy it is. I'm not putting any pressure at all. I'm just letting it fall on the potato. These things are awesome. As you can see, we have an old one here. As you can tell, we have an old one here that um, the end came off of, but we just kept using it. And it took us about six months to find another one after this one broke. So um, these are really awesome. It's called One Touch. They were around years and years ago. If you can find them, they're a great buy, big time saver, and even eliminates how many things you have to use and get dirty when you're cutting or prepping and doing 
um, your prep work for your dinner, but look at that potato. It was just no, no time whatsoever, and it's done. Now, you might be able to do it by hand faster, but for people with arthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, anything like that, pain in their hands, they can't do things like everybody else. That's like me. I have tendonitis very, very bad, and these gadgets help me. So, thank you for watching Gadget Girl with Laura Ann Lifestyles.